Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where you can usually find me making over some part of my 400 square foot apartment. Today I'm doing something really exciting because I've been waiting all year to do it. And if you know me in real life, you know that that's true because today we're making eggnog. If the only eggnog you've ever tried is the store-bought kind and you think you don't like eggnog, you have to make this. I mean, you don't have to, but you really should. Like, I feel like the one at the store is very, very sweet, like cloyingly sweet, and it has a very dense, velvety texture. It's like drinking ice cream, which don't get me wrong, is a great time, but this is a different experience. It's also, um, I feel like the store kind has a little bit of a metallic aftertaste. Nah. No, 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 no. Real eggnog, or at least this recipe, is like fluffy clouds. Like drinking the most lovely, boozy, spiced cloud cream. That's all I can say to you. That's all I know how to describe it to you. It's not as cloyingly sweet and it is just fragrant and delicious. We are using a base recipe from Chef John. And honestly, I feel like that part of me making eggnog is hearing Jeff, Chef John tell me how to make it. So every year I look at his video, he has like the most wonderful voice. I'll link his thing below. I just want you to hear like how good it is because it's so soothing to me. Wait, ready? Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with eggnog. His voice is perfect. It just, it really calms me down and uh, it's very comforting to me. So I'm gonna link his video below. That's definitely the base of this recipe. So we're going to make this altered recipe. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, so um, this is gonna be a half cooked recipe and a half not cooked. So we're whipping up some egg whites and that will be raw, but outside of that, it will be cooked. And I think that actually, to me, I really like the flavor of that. I think it adds some depth. I also find it's a little bit more foolproof to get to do it this way. And the texture is a little bit more reliable. So I really like that recipe for these reasons. And yeah, to all my friends out there, this is how I make that eggnog that I love and I hope that you guys love. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to make the base, which is pretty much like a custard. So we're gonna need to separate four eggs. And how I do this is I just crack them open and then I swish them between the shells so that way I get the cleanest amount of egg white as I possibly can. Now here's the thing about like separating eggs is you can get as much you know white in the yolk as you want, but you really don't want any of that yolk in the white because the white is going to be whipped and I would just be careful about touching the white as well because the oils of your finger can affect the whippiness of the egg white so we're gonna put the yolks in a saucepan and then we're gonna put the egg whites in a separate container in the fridge away for later okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a third cup of sugar into those egg yolks now you're gonna want to kind of just cream them together don't add any heat at this point you're just trying to mix them together and make it as smooth as possible it'll look kind of like just like that creamy pale yellow. Now we're gonna add two cups of whole milk and one cup of heavy cream. You're gonna wanna mix this as well as you can and then turn on the heat. Now this is why I love this recipe. Since you're mixing everything before you put it on the heat, it's a lot harder to fail at this. <laughs> put it at medium heat and stir very regularly. You don't want any like weird chunks in this because <laughs> that'll freak everyone out. So you want to mix it really well. If you have a thermometer, you want it to be at 170 degrees Fahrenheit, but I don't. So I just wait until it's a little bit bubbly and then I take it right off the heat. Now this is where my recipe kind of changes from Chef John's and that's because I really like to bake. So I end up adding vanilla to everything that I cook and bake. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I find it delicious. Today I'm going to actually be using a tablespoon of vanilla bean paste. I just love this stuff. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and then I'm gonna add my alcohol. Now, Chef John really likes just straight bourbon in his. For mine, I kind of try something new every year, but I always use cognac because for me, cognac just smells and tastes like Christmas. So I definitely need cognac. So today we're gonna use a fourth cup of bourbon. We're gonna use a fourth cup of cognac. And I meant to get a fourth cup of a spiced rum, but I accidentally got like a dark rum. That's fine, whatever, it's dark. So we're gonna add that with it as well. So this is also a little bit boozier than Chef John's. Listen, 
We're looking to have a good time. It's 2020, we deserve it. Now, an ideal situation, you could just put it in the fridge for the day and then add the egg whites in the next day, but we don't have that kind of time. So today we're gonna just pop this thing in a container and we're going to chill it by putting it in some water. First, normal water, and then we'll get it a little bit colder by adding a couple of ice cubes. And then this is where the magic comes in. We're going to whip up some egg whites. So, once this is very chilled, we're gonna pop this in the fridge and then we're going to take those egg whites and we're gonna put them in. I have a little tiny KitchenAid, which I absolutely adore, and I'm going to whip them up. It doesn't take very long and it's one of those things that every time I watch this happen, I'm transfixed. Whipped cream or meringue, either of those things from like going from one state to another, it's fascinating to me. So we're going to just whip those egg whites up and then once it's all whipped up, we're gonna take out our custard base and then we're gonna pop that meringue in. Now, if you bake it all, usually you're gonna wanna fold that meringue in so that way you're not taking away all the bubbles. You don't need to worry about that with this. You're just kind of whip it in and it's gonna lose some of that thick texture. My meringue is a little bit firmer than the meringue you would get by hand anyway, so yeah. I think it's like fluffy and delicious. Now, once it's all mixed up, you're ready to have it. It is best the longer you age it. So I've heard of like year old eggnogs, but I think the longest I've ever done it was like a month. Honestly, it doesn't last that long because I love this crap and I will drink it like every night. It's disgusting and delicious simultaneously. Like the amount of cream that I drink is disgusting, not the drink. But yeah, so I just wanna do a little taste test for you guys because you're here. And again, it tastes better if it's aged, but we still gotta try it. Look at this cute little glass. Ugh. So cute. I got them from Home Goods and they came in two different like colors or textures. I did not take off the stickers on the bottom, so my apologies for that. But it's all made up. It is not as cold as I would like to drink it and really you should be sipping this next day, next day, or next day. But today we're gonna just try it fresh just because that's what the time allows. Uh, the texture changes a little bit as it sits as well. So right now it's kind of dense with that egg white, that meringue. But as that sits in the refrigerator, it settles down. Also the flavors meld a little bit more, but we have to try it, so. It smells so good. Like it smells so like nutmeggy and Christmassy and warm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> it's just so, so good. I'm trying not to curse because you know, it is a Christmas video. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry, Chef John. I know I kind of obliterated with that all that vanilla. And also I added different liquors, but man, mine is also way boozier, I think. <laughs> you can kind of play around with boozes, but you want to stay in the darker realm just because they pair better. Um, I can't stop drinking it. It's so, so good. I think I should probably take a picture of the thumbnail before I stop. To me, this is just Christmas in a glass. <laughs> I really do love the base of this recipe. The fact that it's half cooked, I think just really makes the texture more predictable in my opinion. I think it's like easier to do and definitely more fail proof, but the, the flavor and texture is so lovely. Honestly, for me, the egg whites in this kind of complete everything. The texture just changes so dramatically. So I honestly wouldn't admit that. Even if you're a little bit freaked out by eggs, don't worry, there's alcohol to kill that. Also, you don't have to do alcohol, by the way. It's just like, you know, <laughs> tis the season, you know? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely holiday. Thank you, Chef John, for sharing this wonderful recipe. I do find not only this recipe, but your video part of like my holiday. <laughs> so thank you so much. And um, I hope you guys get to make this. I hope you have a lovely holiday. Stay safe out there. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.